Hello everyone, Bleach here and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Promix, part of the Kingdom Hearts Chronological Marathon. We are now heading to deep space. Before we do, I... Well, I did level some stuff up. I got a few new commands. I no longer have salvation on me, but that's fine. Well, I have break time on there. Uh, Sure, we'll keep that on there for a bit. Why not? <coughs> yeah. Battle gets unversed in space. Anyway, this thing known as the Metamorphosis. It's pretty challenging in space, but eh, we'll see what we'll do. Attack with triangle and square, and we press triangle and X. I mean. Yeah, just don't get too greedy with your attacks. Oh, that wasn't too bad. And we learned Wing Blade, one of my favorite commands to handle to for Ben's story. Trying to catch a ride, huh? Deep space. The Lilo and Stitch world. Only without Earth. Now don't get any more ideas. These guns are locked into your genetic signature. <laughs> Intruder? All right, you don't get any funny ideas. What funny ideas? He's totally not gonna let you and think like figure out how to distract the guns. Oh, wait, this is Stitch. So you're the intruder. Identify yourself. My name is Ventus. The monster I was chasing boarded your ship. Nice try. If there was another intruder aboard, we'd have detected it. Uh, you were saying? of unpleasant questions to ask you. This is my fault. I have to do something. <gasps> Hello. What? You know Terra and Aqua? Friend. Circle. Hey, is that a Wayfinder? Whoa. Whoa. 
engines are under too much stress. We're risking an explosion. What am I doing? There's no time. Huh? No, you need to stay here. Oh, no, 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 no. Take Stitch with you. He's adorable. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, look at him. He's hardly a monster. Seems like a slot machine. I know some people don't like seeing that appear on there, but Alias, I never use break time as these characters. <laughs> That's kind of why, so... Oops! Yeah, it's so, like, you need to know me, folks. I'm not a 100 percent just say you won't. It's a 100% guide for most of these things. But we're literally covering a lot of stuff as best as we can. Yeah. Oh, sure, lock me in. Why not? That's real smart. There, buddy. All right. <coughs> I should finish this area. Hmm. Oh, no. your eyes all you want at the Grand Councilwoman so she'll reconsider your sentence. But I see you for what you really are. An abomination that's only instinct is to destroy everything it touches. 
No. He just wants friends now. <coughs> Poor Stitch just wants some friends. Something about this one I'd probably like to say, but yeah. we'll save it for Aqua Story. Deep Space Map. And let's see, what can I I'm gonna try and keep those thunder surges because they are good. Thunder surge is a really good ability. It's gonna be helpful for some optional battles down the line. Hold on to those cures just in case I need to make a new one. Start using the status effect moves more. Okay, it's next to this time. Uh, well, I don't have any other shot lock, unfortunately. be good let's save all right now we can continue onward right through here Lucky seven. And we're very careful not to leave. Dance in peace. Fire. Gotcha. 
damn it. With feeling. Fire. Okay, one thing I recommend doing though, before you go in forward, take care of the enemies here. One side dropped down to me, thankfully, but we need to kill the other one. And then we can get this treasure chest right here. A pulse bomb. All right. I've been looking forward to a new shot lock. Ooh. Magnaga has been maxed out. Nice. Shot luck into the mix. But why I disengage the reality? Into here. Oh boy, I realize that my level is not exactly where I want it to be, though. I 
Should have gained one more level, which means... Super glide across to here. If you're not super glide, you're gonna have to do some platforming to get across, but yeah. we have super glide, so we can just glide across to here. And oh, look, a Xehan will report. We'll read that later at the end of the episode, folks. This can split into more jellyfish, which these would offer a good amount of EXP. We'll take care of it, Mantis. Don't you worry. So, after we to show you what I meant by you're going to need to. Well, in essence, platform your way up there with the zero gravity. I saw you. Hey, 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 hey. And. Oh, what are they squished? Uh, what? No, you can't be squished. Don't worry, folks. God, some of these tunnels remind me of Space Mountain. Proper level, so <clears throat> we're gonna have to get those levels off screen. Otherwise, I'm not following my guide. So I kind of jumped in expecting this part to be long. Forgotten, it's not that long. Alright, we're back. And level 30. Woot. We're all set for the boss. I'm just gonna adjust my abilities a bit. It, well, I keep calling the abilities with their commands. Why do I keep. Let me go. 
for a future note, can I melt anything? I want and... What will this give me? This will give me... Crawling Fire. That's a decent move. It's a slow-moving fireball that deals constant damage as it touches enemies. Not like Vision Fire off of that explodes on impact. But both are needed to flee the mill to get the mighty Mega Flare. Cause who oh boy Mega Flare is good. Oh I could have gotten that ability. Let's see if I use that for going for Well I'm gonna have to probably chance with Mega Flare. Anyway. Actually, instead of Aroga, let's put Crawling Fire Rocket on there. So I can have it at the ready. Anyway. But he's maxed out. Oh, not maxed out. Maybe the command maxed out so far. Let's get on with the boss. This time for reals, folks. Okay. Get them during the boss fight because there's a little gimmick to this boss as well. Hey, you shouldn't be here. What is it? Uh. Here we go. The battle against Metamorphosis. This fight's a little bit easier than the space one, it's, but because the main Location because you will need him to knock this boss off that. Really, I missed. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, oh god! <laughs> uh, let's try it again, folks. That was a little bull crap. That's kind of why I want once more because. Oh wow, I already. Oh yeah. Invisible, but I see you. Uh. You 
gonna do something. Goodbye. don't like some bosses that can combo you into a corner. It's not fun. What's gotten into you? Ah. I see. Your wayfinder broke. Well, don't worry. Friendship's more than an object. Friendship. Sir, go? Don't let the little mimic fool you. You saw for yourself what kind of monster that thing is. All it knows how to do is hurt and destroy. Uh, it hurt the boss. He helped me stop the monster. You must have triggered some sort of mutation hidden in the little freak's genetic coding. Then, run! That's right. We are friends. Better say your goodbyes now, because 626 is about to be destroyed. Stop that! Come on! Sound the alert! Prisoners on the loose! Don't let them get away! but we will take a crash landing to another world soon. But, alas, that's all we can do for now. Ah. I was really hoping to go this run without being KO'd, but ah, we are nearing the end of the story. So you kind of probably would expect that to happen. We will cover Neverland next time. We're pretty much nearing the end. Yep. Because after Neverland, we are pretty much set for the end game, which is going to be a few parts, but I'm going to be honest, after Neverland, I'm going to need to do a, probably a good amount of grinding. The final boss of the end story is thankfully not too terribly hard, but I do want the levels to prepare. But either way, that's it for now. Later, everyone. Much time has passed since I left the home of my youth behind, and in the myriad worlds I have since visited, I have gained much knowledge. On these pages, I intend to record a portion of that knowledge and put the course of my life to paper. Upon reflection, my life underwent the most considerable sea change when I arrived at that place. Yes, it began when I found a master, and another I would later call my brother, when I found a new home. Then there was the Keyblade. For what purpose was it begotten, and by whom? During my training as one of its wielders, the Percepts offered a clear answer. The Keyblade existed so that we who watch over the light could protect the world from the shadows. But was that the true answer? Could there not be more to it than that? My heart sought knowledge, and so I sometimes visited other worlds, so such travel was forbidden unless duty required, and found what my heart sought. <laughs>